I love the idea of finding a Jew, whether it's in the streets of Manhattan or out in the boondocks in Montana, and getting an opportunity to do a mitzvah with them and to share with them the beauty and joy that exists uh, in the heart and soul of Judaism. Baruch Ato Adinoi Lahenu Melech Olam Shechianu Bekimanu Behigianu Uzman Hazer. There is no way that I'm gonna be in this world and not have a family. I don't believe I'm meant to be here without children. Biologically, we cannot have children. We were diagnosed with infertility and we decided to go on the challenging path of adoption. Adoption was taboo. Had a little shock value, I think. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> Which we go for, we go for the shock value. Adopting wasn't enough, so then we went and adopted a black little baby. The last three years with many, that as nutty as he is and as wild as he is, and I wouldn't give it up for anything. And so all the racists out there, come and get me. I'm a Montanan, I'm Orthodox, and I have a black child. You can't, you can't match that. So it's so important to recognize the mezuzah for what it is. You could put up a cinnamon babka on the wall or a rogala. You could put some nice Jewish food, gefilte fish, hang gefilte fish from your front door and everyone will know that a Jew lives here. But no, we put a particular scroll with the particular writings on it because the spiritual DNA of the home is very much connected to the kosherness of the mezuzah. God says if you place this scroll with these particular verses from the book of Deuteronomy on your doorpost, it will shower divine energies into your home because now God's blessings are there to give you that extra boost and protection. Oh, good job. <laughs> now you certainly don't have to lock the doors. Yeah. Now even, if, even in Montana you never have to lock the doors, but if you have a mezuzah and a gun, you're, you're guaranteed <laughs> to be safe and secure. I think it's presumptuous to think that a Jew in Montana wouldn't already have a mezuzah. Baruch, I see it as an excuse to get into people's homes to promote their form of Judaism. What separates us um, is the idea that you promulgate that you are authentic Judaism and that we're not that we're a heretical movement, that... Uh, I don't propagate anything Well, I could look on your website and read it. Feel free. I'm trying to sell Judaism, and either I'll sell it, and if I don't succeed, I'll come back next week, I'll come back next month, and I'll try again. That's a salesman.